Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Gunyer. Last time, we captured Victrion. All right. So we basically got control of the eastern half of the empire. Ha ha. Well, yeah, exactly. What's up? Yeah, you were the one who killed our friends. What's that? Yeah, you'll just try to kill us, which you're already doing anyway. If you have another option, my ears are open. Because we don't want to die? Uh, yes we do. Well, they're not doing a very good job, then. Hmm? What are you doing here, Alyssa? Oh, yeah, kind of abusing your power there. How do you know so much about that? Yeah, you're the, she's the girl that you were trying to kidnap? Wasn't she already following us, though, or hanging out with us along the way? What do you mean? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Hmm? Alessandra? Oh, that must just be, like, her full name or something. Uh, you are. I thought she was just some random noble. Well, we were just trying to get some food, but she just happened to be in the wrong place at the right time, I guess. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, I guess we kind of did. The... Well, that means oh uh, we're the ones kind of in charge not her she's just kind of hanging out with us Your destiny is over. Too bad. Well, yeah, we did kind of save her life on more than one occasion. Yeah, anyway, we've been hearing a little bit about him. Okay, bye. Are you done talking now? Well, thanks for the education. Finish him. What do I look like? A waiter? Nope. Not gonna do it. So, yeah, let's avenge our friends. Yep. Kill him all. If you don't kill him, we just take him prisoner, and we never hear about him ever again, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't think this uh, decision point is 
one of those critical ones. I hope it wasn't. Shouldn't we, like, try to fortify the area first, at least? Well, yeah, I think that's a good way to go. Oh, what's going on? And what do we get for our prize? A new uh, war god. All right. Not that I'm going to use him, but he's there. So another summon that we could have used with... Uh, what is it? With the gun here. But, all right. Well, you're not just some random noble, huh? What do you mean? So even if we overthrow the Emperor, you'd be the next one in charge, huh? Well, that sounds good to me. What do you mean? What happened a decade ago? Oh, what kind of prophecy? Oh, that's... that escalated quickly. But then, who's going to inherit your throne? I mean, sooner or later, you're going to die anyway. What do you mean? What does that have to do with this? Oh. And they died. Yeah, that would be kind of hard. Hmm. Nuts. Well, not much we could have done, I guess. I wonder if they ever did find that guy we were looking for. Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. Well, she is kind of leading, or er, well, leading us eventually. What did he say? Oh, nuts. Could it be the right hand man to the emperor is evil? Let's find out. Oh, bastards. I thought the Emperor controlled everything. Oh, okay. Well, we could do that, too. Nuts. Yeah, why were they taking you there? Yeah, don't treat her like uh, anyone else. Probably a good idea. Yeah, what about them? Well, apparently so. Hmm, maybe. Better watch out for that. Robertus. Oh yeah, he was that guy in that flashback. What about him? Well, he's the one who killed our father. I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? Please, continue. Sorry if I'm going through this a little too quickly. Oh, really? That 
doesn't seem like to be a very good arrangement. What do you mean? Well, I guess you are in charge, but... Yeah. You. Yeah, that would be a problem. What are you going to do, even if you do get in charge? What do you mean? She is, isn't she? Not anymore. We, we are involved. Yeah, that would be kind of a problem. Yeah, you got all our friends killed, too. Good job! Yeah, I don't know if I re would really trust her. Now, anyway. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So where do we go now? Oh, where, where are they? Who are these guys? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. He's not the guy in charge, though. Oh, so that's the odd. He's in a wheelchair? How powerful could he possibly be? Hmm, I wonder if that line of dialogue would have changed if we didn't kill him. Who's the astral heir? Oh, so you got a magic spear of your own, huh? Well, I suppose that wheelchair would make it hard for us to stab him in the back. Well, hopefully we can get there first. Well, you're kind of old. Yeah, the Emperor seems kind of impotent. Oh, well. Who's that? How's it going? Oh, I wonder if Robertus knows about this. What's going on? What do you mean? Oh, what about the harbor? What are you talking about? You're not going to tell us, are you? Oh. Oh. That's... Seems to kind of feel a little guilty about carrying out his orders. Alright, finally we get a chance to save. Whew, that took a long time. <laughs> oh, this game is, well, I wouldn't say very long, but 
well, anyway. Okay, so now let's uh, make our new preparations. We've got a lot of stuff to get here. So first things first, let's sell off anything extra that we got. See, I already got a battle axe up there. Silver Moon, I do want to hold on to. Wildcat, I don't think I'm worried about. No. Yes, yeah, so we can get rid of that now. We got the Griffin Talon. Let's see, we can sell the Zentetsus. We don't need them. But Flora, any extra shields? No. Oh, I need to get uh, new weapons, of course. For, well, equipment in general. So let's see, what do we got here? Well, this is the first opportunity we have to buy a Rainy Saber, but we're just about to get another upgrade anyway. So. Let's see, Kill Blade is pretty good for just raw damage, if you want that, but I don't think so. Let's see, anything else interesting? More Zentetsus. Hmm. A Book of Eleanor, if you missed it earlier. Yeah, we can use Brooms with a Witch, but nah. Okay, so that's everything there. Don't care about the shields. Let's get Chainmail, finally. It's the next armor upgrade for us, after Hard Leathers. See, so it's getting iron skinnies for Valerie there. That'll be good for her. And I think that's all the body armor we need. Yep. See, so let's get a Noel hat. There. We want to get uh, both of those. They're a very light piece of armor, but they give you both defense and magic defense and some pretty good status resistance, as well as sleep protection. They are really good. I mean, they, they are so light. Uh, weight of nine. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. See, let's get a Brave Bandana for Joseph there. Not that I really need it. It has no defensive stats, but it does give you status resistance plus 40. That's huge. So we definitely want that. Oh, um, any more headgear? Uh, no, I think that's all. Let's see. Arm Guard has a defense of 15 for a weight of 14. So, yeah, that's really good. So let's get two of those. I also want to get Savage Hunters. I want to buy, uh, well, if I didn't have one already, I would buy both. But anyway, so yeah, defense of 10. Uh, pretty lightweight there, but it has a really good boost. It reduces their guard by 20%. It is amazing. One of my favorite pieces of hand armor in the game, so I definitely want to get those. I'd also like to get an Alchemiton for Paulo there. It's basically the same thing as the Mystic Bangle. Gives you a 25% reduction in casting time, but it weighs a lot less. So that's why I want to give it to him. It doesn't really have a good boost, but I don't have any other magic users to boost with the Mystic Bangle anyway, so I'm just going to go with that. Okay, so we got that. Now we can get Foot Armor that'll really help out with counterattacks. Uh, Shura Kogake is a really, really good one for that because it has a counter number of one. It's amazing for that. So definitely want to pick at least one of those up. And it has 15 defense. Unfortunately, it doesn't move, it doesn't boost your move or jump stats, but it's still really good. Okay, so we got that. I want to get the Gargan Boots for Joseph there because that has a counter number of three for him. I may or may not use it right away, but sooner or later I will. We want to get the Talisman, too. It protects against the curse status, which will be really good uh, later in the game. So let's grab that. And then we got all these elemental roses here, which if you look in the lower right, yeah, they uh, refine into 10 gems, depending on the element. So I want to buy each of those and refine them. Really cheap, great source of... Uh, gems there. And let's see, we also got two ethers that can be refined into null gems. So definitely want to get a couple of those. Uh, game, can I buy them? Thank you. Oh, and you know, there's something else I forgot to buy. Uh, let's see, or er, sell. The Enchanting Rouge. Yeah, look at that. Uh, gold that we can get there from that. Yeah, really nice there. Okay, I think that's everything there. So, let's arrange our party for the next battle. Okay, let's see. Valerie. Let's see, we got Griffin Talon. Let's get, equip those iron skinnies that I bought. And let's see, where's Ragnus? Let's give you the uh, Ravencloth, now that Valerie doesn't need that anymore. Let's see, what else do we got? Iron Mask. I want to give you a uh, Savage Hunter. Let's move you down there just for my OCD. Give you one of those. 
Let's see, where is the other stuff? Okay, that's it for you. Let's see, Julio! Let's give you the chain mail that I just got. That'll help out your defense a lot. Let's see, let's get a uh, Noel hat on you. Let's see, Julio, I want you to have an arm guard for some more defense there, for tanking, and equip you with those wheel... Oh. The other wheel greaves. The other, other left foot. Okay. Let's see. Ragnus. Stick with the bronze sword. Let's, uh... Now, I'm gonna have Ragnus tank for this battle at a choke point. So, I want to give him as much defense as I can. So, let's give you... Uh, where is it? The Shurikogake. I'm only using that for the raw defense. That's it. Not the counter number, because you can't use that anyway. Okay, Paulo. Okay, let's give you the Noel hat now. And the Alchemiton. Okay, that ought to be good for you. Let's see, Joseph. Let's give you the other chain mail there. See, I want to give you some headgear now, so let's go with the Brave Bandana, give you a Savage Hunter, and what else? Wheel Greaves. That'll be good for you. Martin. Doing pretty good there. I don't think I'm changing anything. No, no, I think we're good. Okay, let's see if I have any more weapons to sell. Hold on to the Silver Moon for breaking hand armor later on. At least I think that's what it does, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It already has hand crush to start with. Let's see, we don't need the shields anymore, so let's just get rid of those. We're not going to be running into enemies who can break equipment for quite some time. And let's see, as far as refining goes... Oh, you know, I forgot to re-equip the hard leathers during the last battle there. It went on for so long, I forgot. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, we can refine all those. That's fine. We don't need any more of those. Oh, I already had a piece of chainmail. Whatever. Refine it. Let's see. Water veil. We still want to hold on to. Power guns. We can get rid of all those. Mystic bangle. Get rid of. Let's see. We still want to hold on to the wrecker gloves there. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Hold on to both of those. We want both, uh, fire boots. We can get rid of the tough boots. And wheel greaves. Hold on to the gargan boots for later. Let's refine all these roses here. And we can get rid of the stunner belts now. We don't need those anymore. I'm not going to use the talisman for quite a while, but it will be really, really good for us later on. Let's uh, refine these ethers. Yeah, we're getting a ton of gems. So now we can actually start improving our equipment a little more. Uh, what I would recommend is upgrading the uh, Griffin Talon there, the Icicle Rod, the Book of Eleanor. Get all those up to level 9. Silver Moon, we're only going to use once, and that's it, to break some hand armor. So I'm not going to upgrade that at all. Pylum, we're going to get an upgrade for that soon. And same thing with Rainy Saber and Bronze Sword. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave those alone. But, yeah, I will, well, of course, take care of that off screen. All right. So, let's wrap things up and uh, see what lies ahead for us. Back game. Thank you. So, where are we going to go next? Well, it seems like we're going to run into that guy. If anything, Robertus looks more... Or just looks more confident than uh, Pierre. What, do you, what does he mean by that? Just because I'm going to be next in charge of Esperanza? Well, you are kind of in charge. You can do whatever the hell you want. So, where do we go from here?
Well, we gotta take over the west side of the empire now, I suppose. Ha ha. Well, we knew she was a noble, so it wasn't that shocking. Ha uh ha. -huh. Man, it's taking them a month to get around to us? You know, if we got that big chasm between us, why don't we just keep holding on to this side? Make our own empire. Oh, maybe. What's going on? Oh, yeah, we might want to get through that. Kind of reminds me of Hexus Force a little bit. Not everything bad comes to hurt us? What? What is the point of that? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that would be a problem. Uh, well, Pierre's kind of dead now. Well. Yeah, that's true. You kind of pissed us all off. Well, Wallace looks pretty competent, but uh, I don't know about Albert. Yeah, so, we're doing pretty good. Oh, they got better scouts, at least. Well, hopefully, they didn't do too good for Pierre. Bottomless. If you knock someone off the edge, they go to hell, pretty much. Nuts. They got, uh, yeah, catapults too, or other siege weapons. As you wish, your proposal is acceptable. But can we conquer the vast fissure of the Garganian Empire? Find out next time on Let's Play Gunyer! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!